for well-defined product structures or projects where it's clear how the workload will be distributed, it can be advantageous to build your product structures up front. SolidWorks Treehouse is a new application that helps you build complete product structures with a simple to use drag and drop interface. Adding names to known parts and assemblies is easy and removes any ambiguity. To add further items to your product structure, simply drag and drop a new part or subassembly. Since each item comes from a SolidWorks template, you can add all your company standard custom properties and fill out any known information at this time. Configurations can also be created as part of the structure. This makes it clear to the designer what is required as well as which configuration is needed in this particular assembly. And since these are new parts, not existing ones, you can also add drawings to the pack to ensure the project is fully detailed for manufacturing. Existing parts and assemblies, or standard parts, can easily be added to your structure by dragging and dropping a SolidWorks file from Windows Explorer. A thumbnail of the part, plus all its custom properties, are clearly shown in the tree so you can be sure you have the right parts in the right places with the correct quantities. Once your structure is complete, or partially complete, you can export the tree to make a SolidWorks assembly with all the parts, sub-assemblies and drawings that make up your design. Using SolidWorks Treehouse with SolidWorks Enterprise PDM is a great way to build your product structures, allocate design tasks to specific teams and manage all the design data from here on in. Looking at the data card for the connector part, you can see it has already been populated with tabs for each configuration as well as any metadata such as description. Also, looking at the check-in dialog for the assembly, you can see that SolidWorks Enterprise PDM understands all the predefined design references between the assemblies, parts and drawings. Logging in now as another designer, you can see the 3D model of the robotic spider assembly that needs to have the new power pack added to it. As with any modification, the assembly must first be checked out before adding any new components. The new power pack assembly could be added the usual way, but SolidWorks Treehouse can also be used to edit existing product structures. This is especially useful for complex assemblies or to go through the process you saw earlier of adding completely new parts and sub-assemblies. Again, a simple drag and drop, this time of the top level assembly, shows the entire product structure, making it easy to see how this assembly is built up. Rather than adding the existing power pack assembly, we will add a new sub-assembly and a new part, giving them the same name as the parts the other designer is working on and has not yet checked into the vault. If the vault is set up to only allow unique names, then two people cannot work on two different parts with the same name, and this can be a big problem if a lot of work has been done on the parts before this error is flagged at check-in. As the assembly structure is exported once more, you can see the sub-assembly is added to the 3D model. You will also notice that SolidWorks Enterprise PDM warns you that there is a problem. Previously, you had to do a search to find where duplicate parts are and what they belong to, but in Enterprise PDM 2015, this common error is overcome with a new duplicate parts dialog that not only tells you about the conflicts, but also tells you exactly where they are, saving you lots of time and head scratching. Since these parts can't be checked in, they must be renamed, but in this case, a simple undo gets rid of the parts from the assembly completely. Notice the new version column? A completely redesigned set of icons and more meaningful information makes it easy to know if you are using the correct versions of all your files and if you need to get the latest versions or not. The two rogue files are still there. If you try to check these in, the check-in dialog also now has links to that same duplicate parts dialog. This issue of duplicate names is compounded even further if one or more users have created files with the same names and have not yet checked them in. SolidWorks Enterprise PDM 2015 provides a new state called a private state that lets authorized users see what others are creating 
before they have committed them to the vault. That way, you need never be in the situation where multiple users are duplicating effort or part names. Many elements of the Windows Explorer interface have had a major overhaul, where data is displayed in a tabular format, like on the Contains, Where Used and Bill of Materials tabs, clearly defined cells separate columns and rows, and all 3D CAD files have a pop-up thumbnail image so you know what you're looking at. The BOM Compare tool now makes it easier to understand the differences between product versions. Where before the entire row was highlighted, now the individual data cells are highlighted, so you can see at a glance exactly what has changed. The Copy Tree tool has also had a major facelift. As well as using the same table style as the Bill of Materials tab, the settings area can be expanded and collapsed to make more room and a new option to include simulation results has also been added. The destination path and file name have been separated into individual columns to prevent accidental changes to both the path and the file name at the same time. And a new filter makes it easy to find what you're looking for in large product structures. So if you need to find only parts that contain the word HIP in any or all of the data columns, this is easily done. New in SolarWorks Enterprise PDM 2015 is the much requested Move Tree tool. This has the same user interface and the same user interaction as the Copy Tree tool, but only moves product structures to other areas of the vault. This makes a once difficult and time consuming task simple, finds all the assembly references quickly, and maintains all previous version history. Parallel transitions in workflows where more than one person needs to sign off an approval are much easier now than they ever were, but data collected and stored with the file, such as who approved it and when, was overwritten each time a new person in the chain of approvals added their rubber stamp. This made it difficult to understand who signed off what and when. In SolarWorks Enterprise PDM 2015, a new transition action type has been added that allows you to map the value of a variable to specified users or groups and in chronological order. In simpler terms, every time someone approves a document in a parallel workflow, all variables such as username, date and time are captured for each and every sign-off. When the final signature has been added, all the variables are written to the file during the change state procedure and can then be viewed in the data card or added as a field in the title block on a drawing. Taking a quick look in the administration tool, you can see the new transition action in more detail. Firstly, you can now add version comments so that during a specific transition, including automatic ones, you can record the reasons for the transition in the file's history. Secondly, the variable, in this case approver1, can be set by any of these users. If you then map the approver2 variable to the same users, any of them can sign off the document in any order, but can only do it once. Much easier to demonstrate than explain. Revision comments can also be used to add more information to the file's version history. If you put the assembly through one more round of approvals to generate more versions and revisions, you get to see the effect of all these changes more clearly. Now, when you look at the Get Version list, you see a lot more information about the current state of the part or assembly. The history of the assembly is also much more colourful, with comments for all actions and transitions, making it easier to understand. Now, when you roll back, you can also add comments, so everyone knows why you did it. A new web client is now available for SolidWorks Enterprise PDM which makes it easy to navigate, view and make decisions on the go from any web-enabled device through any standard browser. By simply logging into the vault using your usual credentials, you are taken to a secure web version of your vault view. Navigate or search for the part or assembly you are interested in and simply drill down for more information. View the data card 
contains and where used information and check out a file and download it. Make your modifications and then upload and check in when you're done or change state if you need to. There's even a mobile version making it much easier to view the information on a smartphone. SolidWorks Treehouse and SolidWorks Enterprise PDM 2015 add new capabilities to make creating and managing complex product structures and complex workflows simple.